If you want to know about the scoreboard command, I assume you want to know all sorts of stuff about it to make like an incredible scoreboard that you can view and, and you know, for to be really, really awesome and maybe kind of like this. And, and so if you want this to be the case for you, then you've got a long road ahead of you, but I will help you get there. And it really won't be as hard as all that. So just come along with me and we'll figure this whole thing out together. First, let's go into creative mode. And now we are gonna go check out my code room and I'll give you a good understanding of what this code does. So to create a scoreboard, the first thing you need to do is create the actual scoreboard. So let me show you what I mean. Scoreboard and then objectives. This is gonna be your first place to go. You type scoreboard objectives, add, and now see, it's done a list of all of my scoreboards. I have my UHC hour, UHC minute, second weight, count, D chi, D money, D power, chi money, power, power time. All of these different things do different scoreboards. And so for you, you wanna add whatever you think you need. So say you wanna do kills or you want to do a death count you'd say death count now it doesn't matter what this word is you just want it to be one word and that is your objective this is the code word no one's ever gonna see this word except you coding so usually I won't make it something big and stupid like that if I was doing a death count I'd probably say D count or something like that. Or just DC it is be way easier. So take my advice. Then you would do dummy. So this is saying the next word's going to be your dummy. And you have to do this. You can't ignore this part. part this part. <laughs> okay. And so this is the part that's actually going to be what people see if you put this on a visible scoreboard. So you would do parentheses and then type what you want. So you'd say death counter. And then you probably want to add the section signs. Let me just do a section sign really quick. Yeah, so you're probably gonna wanna do something like the, whoa, what's going on here? No, all right. So if I do section sign L, section sign six, I get death counter to look like that. And you know, it's just poor coding to have your color run off. So do section sign R at the end to turn it back to normal. Now this would create a death counter scoreboard for me. So this is what you want to do. You want to make something like this. And then hit enter, and then there it is. Now, for me, I run a special scoreboard system that I need a dummy of this. So I need a dummy of the dummy. And I will explain that to you now. It's a little advanced, so just ignore this part if you don't want to know this part. So if I have a death counter, I would also need a dummy death counter. So I would put DDC, and that's gonna be my dummy death counter. And I do it just like this. I'd press enter again, and I'd have them both basically as the same entity. This is why I have a, um, I'll show you in my own system right now. S see, I have DKI, DKI, and then I have regular KI. Then I also have D money and regular money. And what this does is it lets me flop between objectives so I can get rid of those annoying player offline things if I'm looking at my pause board. Because my pause board shows me everyone's stats. If there were other people on right now, I would see all of their stats as well as mine. So to, you want to have dummies in order to make that work. Okay, back to basic stuff. If once you've made that scoreboard, now you want it to be visible. You want people to actually see what you just made. 
Also, you want people to be able to add to it, but we'll get to that later. So here's my visual scoreboard. It is this machine and it is mighty and it is powerful. So this one does the visual that you can see right now. It shows my name, my power level, my key charge, and my crystals on the action bar. This is what it looks like inside. So go ahead and copy that down or write it down. I'm probably not gonna put it in the description today. Maybe I will in the future. But looking at this, you can edit it and change it to be whatever you want. I will probably make a video about just this command because it's it's really a lot to take in, but look at it. It's, it's just so lovely. It is so nice. So let me show you the other one, the one in the pause menu. Now this one is set up to these machines. So what this chain does is it makes this redstone move forward through all of these. If you don't want to do this, just have one stat. If you just have one stat to show on your pause menu, like your death counter, all you need is one block. So this will be in an advanced video. If you want to just make one scoreboard real easy, here's how you do it. Make this block a repeat unconditional and make it always active instead of needing redstone. That way you don't need this netherite clock that I built. Now, scoreboard objectives, set display, list D power. And well, for you, you're gonna want it to say DDC or D dummy death counter. And you make that block. Too easy, right? Yeah, it is too easy, that's not enough. Once you've made that block, it's just going to keep showing that. So you want it to reset every time someone leaves, comes in, or changes anything. Let me show you how to do that. You need one of these puppies. Okay, you may be wondering why is this thing encased in glass? And it's because anyone, even if you have deny blocks, which I do, under everything, when you let people touch this even someone in like survival mode can flip this and, and that's gonna screw up your whole command system so you want a repeating command block going up into a chain you want a comparator which is just in its normal mode then you want a redstone piece going into the face of an observer which is going into another repeater up into three chains Go ahead, take a look at it, and make that machine. Now let me show you how to code these blocks. This block should be repeat unconditional, always active, zero ticks. Test for at all. Now this um, tag I added here, you don't need to add that. You can just put test for at all. What this does is it makes me exempt my tag is in it and it makes it so I'm exempt from the power level system that we're using here. And I have changed it to be mods that are exempt. So actually, I need to just do that. Test for at all mod. But don't worry about that. Just do test for at all. Now you go up into a chain unconditional, always active, delay and tick zero. This one's harder. You want to do execute as at all, and you can add this if you want. At s run scoreboard players operation at s d, and then you can you would do d death count equals at s death count. This is going to convert things when people are going and coming, so you don't actually lose your scores when you leave. So that piece is done. Then you go over here. Scoreboard objectives remove D death count. Up here would be scoreboard objectives add D death count. So yeah, the dummy death count, dummy, and then yeah, whatever you want here. And look at that, I made that, oh, just shoddy coding sometimes. All right, there we go. Scoreboard objectives add. So this creates your dummy again after getting rid of it. 
And what this does is does scoreboard players add at all death count zero. That's going to make it so the scoreboard shows up again. Then this one is scoreboard objectives, set display, list, dummy death count. That puts it back onto the list. So while all these chains are unconditional, always active, delay zero. This one was repeat unconditional, needs redstone, delay and tick zero. So that repeater needs redstone. Remember that. If you don't make it so that repeater needs redstone, this will not work. Anywho, that is the um, system to make a scoreboard. And there's nothing else to do after that except to somehow reward to give people scores. And so how to make a death count would be up to you. But one way to do it is to give a death count point to everybody every time they show up uh, in your spawn but that doesn't actually work to make an actual death count here's how i figured to do it you have to make an item that they get every time they are created and then the item has to be undroppable they can't actually drop it themselves but they lose it when it goes out of their inventory. And the, oh, you know what? It's, it's just so complicated and I'll just make another video about it. This has been how to make a scoreboard. If you are trying to make a more complicated scoreboards, I'll make more videos like that. But until then, I am the Codemaster Meowgician and you need to like and subscribe so that you can be good at code. Because if you don't like and subscribe, you, you won't be good at code until you like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.